Craig and Hazel, good morning. We certainly have many questions, certainly for not only the owner of this building, but the Department of Buildings. After several violations were left unchecked for about 13 years, serious violations that were deemed hazardous by the Department of Buildings. From Air 11 this morning, you can actually see uh, from high above what the remainder of this structure looks like as part of this four story parking garage collapsed, trapping one victim inside who still remains there this morning. People ran from the parking garage moments after it came crashing down. Video from nearby apartments and the Pace University dorm surrounding the structure shows cars teetering and others crushed in the rubble. Stay to the right. Stay up. Well, my, Guys, my right. Out. Six people were inside at the time, workers of the valet garage near Ann and William Street. Tragically, one of them was crushed in the collapse. While deemed too dangerous for rescuers to go inside, the FDNY and NYPD used robotic dogs and drone cameras to look for victims. There was uh, a, a worker that was trapped on the upper floors. He was conscious and alert and moving around calling us. Uh, he just couldn't get down and we were able to put firefighters up there in the building and take him out uh, across the roof. The major rescue unfolding a few blocks from one police plaza in City Hall yesterday around 4 p.m. While it's not known what caused the catastrophe, there may have been warning signs. So there's right now, uh, there are some active violation on the building dated back to 2003, but in 2010 there was application filed, which not indicated violation was corrected. We discovered several open violations at the century-old structure that have gone unchecked dating back to 2003, many of them glaring warning signs. Multiple places inside where investigators found cracked concrete and some missing from ceilings, others deemed defective or loose. It's always going to be part of the review exactly what happened here. The office of the chief medical examiner telling me this morning that their personnel waiting for the okay to go inside to try and remove the victim who customers tell us is the general manager of this parking garage. He has not been publicly identified at this point. Also, demolition crews are expected to begin moving in today to start trying to tear down the remainder of the building. That's the latest live here in Lower Manhattan. I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.